So what is going on everyone, Minabas with you here, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the graphical user interface of your Linux server or your VPS and let us begin. So firstly, I'm going to be showing you that this VPS that I'm going to be using there is not connected to any desktop platform and this is exactly what we're going to be uh, solving in this video step by step. As we wait for it to load, I, if you're in, interested in getting a very cheap server, I'm going to be putting the links in the description. You're going to have to go to this website and get exactly a very cheap VPS. So here at the remote desktop is showing us that we don't have anything installed and it cannot connect to anything. So we're going to go ahead and just press OK and let us begin with the video. OK, so I'm going to go to you're going to have to go to this website. I'm going to be putting all the links in the description. So you're going to need a software that you're going to use to launch your server. OK, in this case, we're going to be using party. So you're going to have to go ahead and download uh, party, but I already have mine, so it will be a repetition. So I'm going to be opening my party here. So uh, the second option, you can go ahead. If you don't want to download, you're going to have to come here into your your start windows and type in power. Look for PowerShell. You can run it as administrator, or you can just open. Let me try running it as administrator. Come and open. So uh, your server party is already loading here, so it's an ISO, it's very safe. You can go ahead and download it. Okay, there we have two of them open. Yeah, let me open this one and let me close this one. Okay, there we go. So after you've opened your PowerShell, I'm going to go ahead and use PowerShell instead of party. Uh, I think everyone knows how to use party, but let's go ahead and use the PowerShell. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to SSH into your your VPS or your server. I need to delete this space here. You're going to have to click enter. Yes, I'm going to say yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put the password. Right there, we're logging. So the first thing that you need to do is to actually update your server if you haven't updated it. But we're going to have to go back here and then we're going to go into the script installation files. OK, so you're going to scroll down and look for desktop graphical user interface script. Go ahead and click on that. And this is exactly what we need. So we're going to go ahead and just do this is going to be a copy and paste task. OK, I'm going to be putting this side by side here for you to actually get it right. OK, so there you go. So you're going to have to go up here, scroll down and then we're going to be copying. It's just going to be a copy and paste. So right click, copy and then come in here just click and then right click to paste and press enter. We are going to wait for just a few seconds. Okay, there you go. So it is done. So mine is already uh, installed. So the next thing we're going to come here and copy the apt install task cell. Go ahead, right click and press enter. Okay, shows that it does not have it, so we're just going to click Y for yes. Okay, so it's already done. So we are going to type in task cell. I would love to actually just type it in. And press enter. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to be looking for an option that I know that is the lightest. If you are using a VPS, you can go ahead and use Lubuntu as I've used most of them, but Lubuntu seems to be. So you're going to press this press button. Lubuntu seems to be the the lightest of all the desktops that I've used with 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 time. So go ahead and press the space bar here to select or unselect. And then we're going to press enter. OK, so 
Okay, so we're gonna be waiting for it. Okay, it's opening. Let me bring it close here by just scrolling. Okay, there you go. So we're gonna have to wait for the installation of packages here. I'm gonna be fast forwarding this until it is done and I will be back. Okay, now that that is complete, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead onto our left here. And we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna select this, right click, copy, and then bring it this side just right click to paste and then press enter. Okay, so just confirm with a yes. So you can see that this is not really a very hard process. It's just a copy and paste that is so easy for anyone to install. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead, copy this system, enable, XRDP. So this what this does is ju it's just enabling the installation that we're doing. So right click to paste and then press enter. Okay, now we're done. Okay, so we're going to be checking the status of our XRDP and then we're going to be just uh, pasting to right click to paste. And then you can see that our our Remote desktop is now active and we're going to be pressing just control C To let that go. So here the best practice is to fast reboot your computer, but it can also work as fine Okay, it's gonna be root and then we're gonna be saving this credentials and then we're gonna be Logging in. Okay, so now you can see we already have options that are requesting us to Input uh, select a yes or no, so we're going to be saying yes. Okay, now you can see it is already prompting that we have a desktop. Put in my password. <clears throat> and there you go. So you can see uh, our desktop is actually requesting us to reboot our computer. So let's just close this. We can go ahead and reboot our computer and I'm gonna be back after this PC has rebooted. Uh, let me use our PowerShell. Go ahead and type in reboot. Okay, so our computer is back on and we can go ahead and select yes. All right, so we just go ahead and input your password and there you go, you are well, totally connected to your desktop of your Linux server. So that is how you install the graphical user interface of your, your Linux server or your VPS. So if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.